Hello, Simvicta. Hello, Northern Lion. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday to you as well. Where does Wednesday rank on your on your days of the week? Honestly, I like Wednesdays because it's the first day of the scheduled streams I do mm, on Twitch. Okay. So yeah. it's kind of like the start of a new week for me. And uh, then I have to use those mental gymnastics to convince myself, hey, we're only one day away from the weekend. Right, yeah. <laughs> it's Friday, and it's great. Uh, yeah, so I, I don't mind Wednesdays. Three, two, one, good luck. Good luck. Have fun. Northern Lion on the two-game winning streak. Oh, thank you. It's, uh, you know, you you've, sometimes you just see your enemy square in the face, and sometimes <laughs> you see him in the mirror. With how bad I've been beating myself the last two games. I see what you're saying. I was wondering where you were going there. Yeah. Yeah, no, not Norn Lion's not my I enemy. I was like, what the heck, so. dude? <laughs> also, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> have, you, have you noticed what I've noticed about this one? Uh, That it's very clean? That's one of the things I've noticed, for sure. <laughs> what, what else are we have noticing? You, have you noticed anything else? The fact that, like... What? That the language is pretty much the same as last week, or on Monday. Keep going. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know which direction you went, so. Are we? Yes. Oops, all Tunisia edition. Every is guess, actually Tunisia again? Every guess is Tunisia. What what the heck, diverse world? That's what I get for saying I can't name anything famous from this country. Is <laughs> they just start like, oh yeah? This oh one yeah, was, I see the flags now. I was What's just about heck? to say this one's great because there were also uh, <laughs> infinite Tunisian flags in every direction, no matter hey, where but, I looked. But you know what? You know what? I gotta say, shout out to Tunisia for actually being patriotic. You know, I agree. It makes actually. the things a lot easier because we don't we don't get this kind of luxury when we go to uh, to international guests. Sometimes. I thought you were going to say in Texas, and I was like, I... <laughs> <laughs> "This way, you're wrong, brother." Um, the only only question is which city are we in, though? I think I know, honestly. I think I saw it painted on a van. Mm. I wow, it's Wednesdays rank in the upper half for me for sure. Yeah, I don't mind Wednesdays. Like, Saturday is a number one, cause it's my day off. Okay. Uh, from that point onwards, you, it gets a little trickier. I like Tuesdays because I stream and usually mm -hmm. don't record, so it's kind of an easy day, you know. Okay. Uh, but of I like Fridays too. Because I record but don't stream. I know that sounds All weird, right. but like I, I like those days the most because those are days where you're not jumping well, you, platform to platform. Yeah, you, I mean, you make your own, you make your own schedule for those days. Yeah, especially the um, on uh, recording days. You want to take a half hour off, take a half hour off. You know. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Or just goof off and play some games like Warframe. And sure. I think we're like like here maybe I don't know, um, but of combined streaming recording days, I also like Wednesday. It's because uh, the uh, workout on Wednesday is exclusively overhead press, which okay. is the easiest of all days. Monday is squat plus bench press. It's the most effective oh. day for me to double up. And you go, you go, legs and chest on on the same day. It's just there's the workout program I'm on is only four um, compound exercises done very heavily. Okay. So, so there's squats, overhead press, bench press, and deadlift. Okay. So I I feel like bizarrely enough, I got you by about one fifty, one eighty maybe. That's fair. Um. Bench and squats make the most sense to double up on. Because okay. uh, squats take a lot out of you. Uh, so that, you know, you don't want to pair that with something like deadlifts, which are also pretty taxing. Um, 
And then, you know, that really only leaves you with the uh, shoulder press or uh, bench press. I don't know. At least with bench press, you get to lay down a little bit. See, when I was bodybuilding, we do Monday was legs, Tuesday is chest and tries, mm. Wednesday was back and buys, Thursday was shoulders, Friday was arms. See, but that's it's two different uh, two different goals. The bodybuilding okay. training philosophy is uh, a little bit higher frequency, a little bit uh, is more aesthetically minded, which is fair. Is you know just two different sides of the same coin. I'm on. Uh, I'm on a more strength-focused uh, setup. Okay. But I will say, my parents got me these, like, adjustable dumbbells. So I've been Ooh, doing some nice. more... I've been doing some more high-frequency stuff with those on off Yeah. Days. Yeah. I, I didn't... My least favorite... I loved leg day. Leg day was my favorite. I agree 100%. Loved doing squats. We never... We, like leg press was always my jam. Yeah, like well, yeah, regular you can just load up like a staggering amount of weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I never had a problem with that. I and oh yeah, I also did. I used to do uh, uh abs on uh, Wednesday, no Monday, Wednesday, Friday, mm -hmm. and then Tuesday, Thursday was also racquetball. Oh, cool. uh, day. With like sixty minutes of cardio after the after the workout, sometimes thirty, depending on how my legs felt. But it's it like talking about all this, it amazes me that I did that every single day <laughs> for every week for years and years, and now I'm like, you know, I got the total dad bod rocking right now. <laughs> it's a natural, natural progression. I mean, that's why, I like, to be honest, I'm like, I don't really have designs on getting like shredded. I'm. I just want to age gracefully, and if I could be like a strong dad, that's cool with me. Yeah, I mean, it's not like you're gonna be like fighting anyone. Or, yeah, you know. yeah, I don't want to. Like, I don't want to take my shirt off at the pool party and everyone go like, "Yo, that's crazy." It's more like you know, if like a rock falls on somebody, maybe I'll be able to help like hoist it off, <laughs> and people will be well, like, yeah, to, to pick up their dead corpse. If, if no, maybe the... it only fell on like their legs or something. <laughs> oh, I got you. <laughs> Like a rock fell off. Like you really. It doesn't have to be a boulder. I did not say a boulder. <laughs> I'm with you though. Like so, I love squats, and for whatever yeah. reason, like genetically, I have big legs. So I think I think you like what you're good at, right? So that yeah, yeah. that works for me. I hate benching. Most people are like, oh, I love bench day. You know, I'm like, dude, I. Is my least favorite of the four exercises in the program for sure. Honestly, I'm right there with you. I although I will say that I I love doing I love doing bench press, but with dumbbells, not with mm. the bar. I, I I hate it even more with dumbbells, to be honest. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, it messes with my shoulder a little bit. I, I got gotcha. you. I have some rotator cuff uh, issues. I think. See, that's why I don't like overhead press because oh, my, my shoulders. Go. My shoulders kill me. Human, my uh, human body's very weird because like, that feels great for my shoulders for whatever reason. Dude, are you are you on this highway? Because it go, it goes to a dead end. I'm I, not even I did hit a dead end. I hate it. I also have 15 seconds left, and I have no idea where we are. I'm I'm putting it down because I have I've only seen one name and one name only, and I'm hoping that me being ignorant is all that it takes on this one. I'm out of time, but yeah, that works. Yay, ignorance. I was waiting for the, I beat you by 4,300. Uh, no, I didn't beat you by that, but it was only 2,900. <laughs> That's uh, surprising to me, but I'll I'll take at least having a horse in the race. Oh, I, w I didn't even get the right country, technically. I'm, like, I'm, I broke the cardinal rule of Africa, which is if you don't know where in Africa you are, go south. South Africa. Guess, sir. I it's, saw a sign that said it was like Sobantu or Sabantu. Sabantu Guest Farm. Yeah. And I was like, hey, that sounds kind of South African. And <laughs> everything else checks out. So I figured, why not? I can't be mad. <laughs> I'm just glad it wasn't like Brazil or somewhere. I feel like, uh, what's up with this sign? <laughs> it's hard yeah, to Yeah, it's read. like, oh, you're... Are you talking about the one that's like... It's electric. Oh, oh the LED sign, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't get picked up by the camera very well. At speed. These are... Least. These are like... These are... I mean, they're LED signs, but... That's very strange that they're, they're dimly lit like that.
<laughs> Oof. This is, this is a tricky one. Oof. I was not thinking. Yeah. No, it's it can't. It's not going to be that one. I will say just to facilitate conversation. Okay. I know the region. Yes. Okay. That's just checking. Can can we talk about how this region has uh they've unified their roads so that they carry over from every country to another country with the same name? It must be very convenient you, to drive, but it's really oh, frustrating to try to guess which country you're in. You're you're talking about the the actual like road numbers. Oh yes. Yeah, because they keep they keep to the same format. It's very very smart, but also annoying. I guess the important thing is it's probably great if you live there. <laughs> but if you don't live there, it's really hard to find your way around. Honestly, I wish I lived here just because of the of the climate, dude. For sure. I feel like if I had to. Uh, emigrate to another country. For sure, this might surprise you. For sure, number one would be the United States. You know, we that got, actually does surprise me. It's close to Canada. We got uh, you know family in the U.S. I speak the primary language already. Culturally, you know, slight differences, but <laughs> more Wait, excuse me, more similar than different. <laughs> Um, okay. I would say. And, uh, like, that would be number one. Second would probably be someplace in in the Nordic region. <laughs> this guy thinks we're in the Nordic region. <laughs> oh. Well, I found I found the road, but it doesn't make sense with this with this direction, though. That's why I keep looking down here because we're like we're going that way. I'm either pretty close or very wrong. Okay. Which I understand doesn't help you much, but that's also not my goal. <laughs> so. Yeah, we're we're not trying to help each other out here. <laughs> well. You're traveling this way. Okay. I just don't see... The problem is I don't see the... I don't see this city. Yes, I agree, actually. I mean, where like, the I mean, heck I'm, is Siva? <laughs> <laughs> Let's say, like, over here. I had it, and then I moved it. Hmm. I was I was basically right on top of where your guess was. Well, I moved it slightly. <laughs> the good news for you is you got a, you got a lot of room to play with. I think. Uh yeah, yeah you got me by uh, uh, sixty seven. Okay, well, <laughs> we tied. All right. <laughs> Ooh, this is pretty. Yeah. Immediately, that means we're in New Zealand. It's not fair, but I believe you. It, this one that might actually be in New Zealand. I mean, I look at those! Look at those mountains. You know what? Originally, I was gonna be like, "That's insane," and then I looked at the mountains, and I was like, "I could totally see why, why that could be Good believable." God, I mean, just look at this place. It's like places like this shouldn't exist. It's so beautiful. Whoa, hey. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, they, like this, this exists in like dreamscapes and like CGI and stuff. Not like this is an actual place that like you can go just to look at the. The majesty of it all. Yeah. You know? Dude, you're it's not like, going to believe me. This mountain view that I got right here looks exactly like looking from downtown Vancouver to north Vancouver. It's like one to one. So you're saying that we're in... No, I think I would Vancouver. recognize uh, the <laughs> Chiosco shop for kiosk and change. That's my my personal opinion. <laughs> but I'm telling you, it's uh, it's got a little Vancouver influence. 
Well, it is gorgeous, though. And it's gorgeous. I don't know if it's a North American attitude, but sometimes when we get we go to these gorgeous places, I'm like, yeah, it's gorgeous, but where do you park? I don't you know. know I where where am I supposed to put my car? Oh, I guess you just park it under this eaves trough here. This freaking guy thinking that I don't know what an eaves trough Sorry, is. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> no, I know. Hey, look, I I failed miserably on. How Canadian are you? But I I have retained the information from all those years ago. It was a real gong show, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, that's an easy one. I don't think it's used that much anymore, to be honest. I heard Corey use it once on stream, and I laughed very, very <laughs> loudly. You know, I think that we're I think that we're here. Uh, I saw a top level domain. That doesn't seem correct, oh, no. but also, uh, we're cl let's be honest, we know we're in Western Europe, so. <laughs> Western Europe. Do you think this could be this in a different language? Do you think that's possible, chat? It's definitely possible. Ah, yeah, that uh, that helps out a lot. See, because I went, I went in the in the way wrong way for the information that I received. Now, not so much. Not so much. Those are only twenty-two kilometers. How? I wonder me, how far is twenty-two kilometers. I wonder what these guys think whenever they see a Google van just roll up on them. There's no way that's 22 kilometers. Don't be a fool. But there's the big lake there. You gotta go for it. You okay? Make a guess. I don't want to talk about it. I got you by 200 something. Yeah. I got mine fluttered. I mean, I, I, I found Locarno and Bellinzona. But oh, then there's Anna. I didn't notice that they were on a lake themselves. So instead, I put us in Lucerne. Dude, no lie. I was, I started in New Zealand. And <laughs> I went, but like, I went, I went in the totally opposite direction. Did you, you obviously, you saw the border. Mm, I did not, no. Oh, you didn't see the border? Oh, man. We went, we went in the same direction then. I went back to the start and turned around, and the and the Italian border guard was right there. <laughs> Yo, good shepherd. Thanks for the uh, Champions of Salt sponsorship. Check out Transport Fever 2. It came out December uh, 11th on Steam. Yeah. Check Sorry, it out. I saw a sign that said good shepherd. Ah, it felt okay. like an appropriate joke. <laughs> I was like... Hey man, you're you're the you're the bigger draw here. If you want to you want to plug stuff. Go oh yeah, it, do would you mind if I I, just, I, ain't, getting, I ain't getting paid by if it. I just started inserting uh, paid shoutouts into the videos without telling you? No, oh, dude, go for it. <laughs> not, I mean, Card Pocalypse, you know, a card battler with a cartoon aesthetic, came out today for consoles. Big thanks to Gambrenis and Versus Evil for the sponsorship. Yeah, thank you. I think they actually sent me a key a long time ago for Card Apocalypse. Dude, I never... it's pretty fun. It's like the um, the the draft mode, which is called Gauntlet in particular, is very fun. But I was it's sponsored, just... so take right. that with with the grain of salt, I suppose. Right. So I don't want to give it up too easily here. However, I think we could probably say this one's likely to be your victory. You're what up, are you at right now? I think you're up by like at least 2,000. 15,157 on my end. Yeah, I'm up by I'm 17,937. Yeah, you're up by 2,800. So This is a big country, though. Mm, I mean, there's a lot of Australia. <laughs> 
You never know. The Piggly Wiggly. We had those in Canada for a while. Really? A little bit before my time, but yeah. I, it's a deli, I think. I, I don't know. Oh, it's a deli? Something okay. like that, or a grocery store. My parents have talked about it from time to time. Now you talk about a you talk about a truck loving nation right here. Oh, you're telling me. <laughs> uh, this is truck central. It not quite, but close. I, I oh no, bad camera. Yeah. I think uh, there's a city there, or there's a state there, but I can't. I can't make it out. I also don't know this area code. So I'm putting this, putting this smack dab somewhere there. I still got a minute left, though. Yeah, no rush. One thing that, I mean, say what you want about America, of course. But one thing you got to say about American GeoGuessr guesses, we've got a lot of information everywhere. Yes. Most I of feel... it is <laughs> not usable. I feel like that might be true in other places as well, but because we don't speak languages other than English, it puts <laughs> us at a, it makes it seem like we're just surrounded by nothing. And sometimes I would, we are. But I'd like to believe that we live in a world where at least one person out there is impressed by how accurate we can get in GeoGuessr for being Westerners. Or like... There's probably some people watching there like, oh my god, their English is so good. Which is Yeah, true. like like man, Dude, how do they do it? My English is out of control. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that was that state that I see. I'll say like right there. Making the guess. Throwing it down. He's done it. It seems correct. Got you by nine points. Okay. <laughs> well, it was really the the African guest kind of took me out of the running. Apart from that, we were we were pretty close. Yeah, you take you take that one out. Let's see what what would the difference have been if we let me highlight Northern Lions here. Uh, if we can just negate that second guess, that was the that was the difference of about. 2,800 or Which so. Which is approximately the difference in our total scores. <laughs> right. Let me, let me pull the old the old calculator, calculator out real quick here. Uh, let's see. We got uh, dang old. Uh, yeah, 2,107. It's, uh, two th yeah, it's 2,789 points separated us. Yeah. And the difference in our first, in our second guess was uh, 2,860. Yeah. So. <laughs> Well, it's not like it good. was unfair. It was very fair, but it's just a, it's food for thought. Dude, we've been neck and neck this like the last two weeks now. It's been real close. But hey, I'll take it. I'll break the losing streak and start a winning streak again. Well, for now, thanks for watching. If you guys have enjoyed it, if you did, click the like button. Helps a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Thanks for your support. Click the like button. No matter who you're watching, it helps out a great deal. And we'll see you next time. And go play Card Apocalypse, the sponsor of. Of Ryan. Thank you. <laughs>